What's up, gang? It's another scorcher in Austin. It's 107 degrees outside, according to my thermometer on the back patio. But I got a couple of boxes in today. And I'm super excited about it because one of them is from our listener Drew in Maryland and the other one from another listener Tang in California. And in the short amount of time it took me to pick those boxes up from outside and bring them inside, I worked up a damn sweat. 107 degrees, humid as hell for no good reason. It hasn't rained in like four weeks. I don't even know why it's gotta be that way, but Austin's gonna Austin, I guess. But before we get to that, I want you to like this video. I want you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so yet. And I want you to subscribe to the Beerists podcast on your favorite podcast app. On that podcast, you'll be able to hear us review each of the beers we got today. You can find it on your favorite podcast app. Just do a search for the Beerists podcast and subscribe to us today. Anyway, let's get to these boxes. All right, this first one's from Tang in California. Thank you so much, Tang. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, Firestone Walker Scotch Parabola. I've never had this before. This is a 2017 vintage, and it's a barrel-aged Imperial Scotch Stout. 11.5% ABV. Fantastic. Thanks, Tang. Rum Barrel Aged Abyss. Rum Barrel Aged for 10 months. I think I have another version of a barrel finish on Abyss that we haven't done on the show yet. Remarkably Limited Release 2017. Fabulous. Fundamental Observation Barrel Aged Imperial Vanilla Stout. Imperial Stout aged with Madagascar vanilla beans and a blend of bourbon barrels. 2018 release, 13.2% ABV. Bottle Logic. Oh, and by the way, Bottle Logic is out of Anaheim, California. Deschutes Pinot Suave, Belgian style ale with Pinot Noir grapes aged in French oak barrels. And on here, there's a tiny little indicia there that says 11.8%. Badass. It looks like we have one more thing here. Cool. It's another one of these Abyss beers. This is one that's aged in tequila barrels for 10 months. Barrel Aged Abyss, 2017 limited release. And this one says 11.8% also. Awesome, thank you so much, Tang. That's great. And we have another box. This one is from Drew in Maryland. Oh cool, little packet of beer info. Awesome, I love it when you guys include research for the beers, that's phenomenal. Well, that's, uh, that's one way to do it. Hmm. The Brewer's Art presents Resurrection. 7% ABV, and there's no other information on this can, so I'll have to figure that out later. It's probably in that envelope that he gave me. Goza O's. This is a Goza Ale, 5.5% brewed with cantaloupe and black lava sea salt. This is from Duclaw Brewing Company in Baltimore, Maryland. 
cool looking can. I like that retro baseball vibe it's got. Monument City Brewing Company, 51 Rye. Brewed with 51% rye, a traditional hearty grain, this unique IPA combines the earthy spice of rye malt with carefully balanced citrus hop notes. 6.5% by volume, Baltimore, Maryland, Monument City Brewing Company, 51 Rye. Lovely. Oh, it's another Goza O's. And another resurrection. Huh. Dundalk Calling from Key Brewing Company. This is a double India Pale Ale, 8% ABV. And the information back here says, enjoy this double IPA triple dry hopped with all citra. Fantastic. Here's another one, uh, those 51 Rise. Monument City Brewing Company Pagoda Pale Ale. This is an American Pale Ale, 5.5% by volume. And on the back here it says, this American Pale Ale is brewed with 100% Cascade hops, light in color and double dry hopped, giving it an abundance of floral, spicy and citrus character. Cheers. Fantastic, thank you. And we have another one of those. And another Dundalk Calling, and that rounds this one out. All right, that's it. Thank you so much, Drew. Thank you so much, Tang. I had a blast opening your boxes up, and I'm looking forward to tasting every single one of the beers you sent me. And for those of you watching, look forward to us trying and reviewing all of these beers on the Beerists podcast in the coming weeks. Oh, and if you want to send this beer, go to thebeerists.com slash send, and you'll find instructions on how to do all of that. After you've read through that, read our requirements, send me an email at info at thebeerists.com, and we'll figure out the best time to schedule that. I appreciate everybody watching. You guys have been amazing. Thank you. Leave comments on this video. Let me know what you think of these unboxings. Let me know what you think of the video quality and audio quality out of this new setup. I'm still working on getting all the bugs out, but I think it looks and sounds pretty damn good so far. And look forward to more videos coming from us once I figure everything out. I'll talk to you again soon.